The makers of the 2019 ARC Raiders, Embark Studios, have released a new free-to-play first-person shooter game called The Finals. Many people have already expressed interest in the game during its open beta stage, and with good reason, its fresh perspective on the genre is probably going to shake things up in the shooter market, at least a little bit. The Finals, a blend of Apex Legends, Fortnite, and other well-known first-person shooters, puts players in the role of competitors on a virtual reality game show in a dystopian future focused on money, where they compete throughout vibrant locations for the big prize. Essentially, the finals is a cooperative online shooter where users form teams of three and enter the game to battle other players. There are tournament options where participants advance to the next bracket by finishing as the top team. In addition to a quick play option was available during the open beta. Here are a few ways that the finals differs from other shooter games. Even though it's not an aspect of the gameplay itself, FPS games in particular have seen their file sizes explode with time, with titles like Call of Duty, Modern Warfare reaching over 125 gigabytes. While some individuals, like those who own large hard drives, may not be concerned about the game size, others, like those who own an Xbox S, do care about it. It's a positive thing that the game is so little. The majority of people will choose a favorite build from the light, medium, and heavy options during the finals. This determines maximum momentum and speed, but it also influences the available skills and weaponry. The finals offers varied movement speeds dependent on build, catering to players with varying gameplay preferences and styles, in contrast to many first-person shooter games that prefer to base movement speed on a gun. Although there are many other franchises that have demonstrated the success of the free-to-play model, such as Fortnite, Call of Duty Warzone, and Counter-Strike, this particular multiplayer shooter stands out from the majority of other multiplayer shooters currently available on the market because it is so detailed from the start. Even if other franchises adopted the free-to-play model, the final's full free-to-play launch without any pay-to-win features is a great deal. For those with tight budgets, and it's not something that all companies are prepared to take a chance on, especially with a more recent release. Cross-play and cross-progression features are available in other first-person shooter games, such as Apex Legends and Call of Duty, but they aren't always included when a new game or FPS is released. Though it's a relatively recent trend, pals may now connect and play the game together on any platform. It's a good thing that the finals has complete cross-play and cross-progression enabled right out of the gate, because some games have chosen to remain PC only for years before releasing console versions. The finals' entirely destructible game surroundings are possibly its best feature. Maybe no other game has done building destruction to the extent found in the finals, even if other games, most notably Rainbow Six Siege, have used wall damage to achieve interesting views. Apart from being able to move and pick up goods, players can also demolish rooms and sometimes entire structures in the game's levels. The Monaco map, which shows rows of residential complexes that are capable of being destroyed down to their foundations, best illustrates this. Overall, the finals epitomizes the pinnacle of sports gaming, blending realism with immersive gameplay to recreate the intensity of championship-level competition. Its attention to detail and strategic depth immerse players in the thrilling world of high-stakes athletics. With stunning visuals and finely tuned mechanics, the game captivates both casual players and dedicated sports enthusiasts alike.